Hey everyone, so here's what happened. I just recorded a 30 minute video where I got here to the second floor and honestly, I'm not even exaggerating, I just went through a room where I had to kill seven zombies. And guess what? That's right, the recording software crashed and corrupted the whole file so I lost the whole thing. So, you've missed a lot and I'm also in a horribly foul mood now and I really don't even want to be recording anymore but here we are so I'm going to try to just suppress all of the seething anger I'm feeling right now having completely lost the last 30 minutes of gameplay all right so anyway I can't really explain where we are in the second floor cuz you missed everything we just did so whatever here we are and I just have to apologize in advance there's gonna be a lot of really sarcastic remarks um a lot of bitterness <laughs> because I didn't I haven't given myself any time to calm down or anything I just immediately hit record again reloaded the software and... all right there seems to be absolutely nothing in this room that's not a surprise I honestly I, I wouldn't have been that upset if it hadn't been for the room with the seven zombies if that hadn't happened, I really wouldn't care, but that was... That was glorious, and it's lost forever. And all... yeah. And also, my, my sense of curiosity is totally exhausted for the day, but... We'll pretend to be interested in what we're doing <laughs> as we search around. Alright, so as you know, we're using the fight... or the fight the knight class which starts us off with the plate and the mace and as a result there's not much loot that means anything to us at least not yet not in these early stages but it's a small price to pay for a lot of security oh, for God's sake. and now you're gonna run off Yeah. You delivered the last hit, and you're running off. And I'm gonna chase you. Because I don't care. And you, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Now, I'd like to get them aligned so that they might hit each other and then start a fight with each other, which is always, always great. And that won't be necessary, okay? Alright. Alright, we got here. And I, I have no idea where I'm at in this level. Like, I was paying attention to where I was earlier, but... The, uh... Not the fog of war, but the, the fog of intense anger has... <laughs> completely disoriented me. Nothing there... blah blah blah, nothing there. So here's some spalders that we can't even use, because if I were to put them on, I would have to take off the rest of this armor, and that's not going to happen. Here's some lore if you want to pause and read that. Um, did I already check this or no? No, I don't think so. Just some pants, no big deal. You know how this goes with the lore. Right. Oh man, that was perfect. Ah, uh, beautiful. Don't need any of that, as usual, because we're set. Pretty much, for now, armor-wise. Nothing useful. What the hell is that? Uh, it is a parchment. I was thinking, like, is that a gigantic, like, pillar candle? No, it's not. What the hell is that? Oh, greaves, which we cannot wear because it would take off what we already have on, but I'll just put it in the inventory for now.
Yeah, nothing in here. Okay. Okay, so where... Where have we been? I already don't even remember if I've gone through here or not. Did I? I think I did. I think I just went through this and I've... I'm, yeah, I'm so frazzled that I don't even know. Oh, there's a zombie. Alright. Let's do this. Now, when it comes to starting these engagements, when you do your overhead, you have to click twice and hold on the second click to make the overhead happen. And the zombies will usually come at you as soon as you click the first time. So what usually happens, and I wasn't able to demonstrate it here because this zombie came right at me. Anyway, but what usually happens is, like, when you do that first one, they come at you, and so they'll close the gap. And you can pretty much, you don't even have to step forward. I'll try to hopefully demonstrate it. Oh, well, here's an opportunity right here. I didn't even see you. Okay. No, they're going to come in and attack, so I can't demonstrate. Whatever. But yeah, I've learned that a lot of the strategy with this flanged mace for, and the overheads is just letting the enemy walk into the overhead. Not chasing them with the overhead. And of course, nothing useful on any of these zombies. But yeah, the room with the seven zombies was similar to the situation. It was a very relatively large room. But it was still glorious and it's lost forever. seems to be the only loot container. Hey, look at that. Can we put this on on top of the other thing? No, we can't. But this is actually better than... Yeah, Alright. That's just a washroom, so what are the odds that this is a bathroom? Of course it is. Alright. And I could be retracing my steps, or this this could be a place I've never been before. I don't I don't have the slightest clue. I don't think I've been in here. Uh we already have one of those. Those light quilted trousers might be better than whatever I'm wearing under here. Yeah, alright, that's cool. And... Yeah, nothing else. Yes, the room with the gigantic map and an extra compass because I forgot to pick up the compass on the first floor. There we go. Oh, oh man, that was that was bad. And that's locked. Is there a key in here? I never remember. I think there's a key in here, and if there is, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know where that key is. I, I had two keys from the previous floor, but I dumped them at the beginning of this level so that they wouldn't be in my inventory confusing me. Which is a good tip, by the way. Because otherwise I'd be like, did I? Do I'd be trying eventually like ten different keys on every single door with no hope of the majority of the keys matching the door because they're from a different floor. Is 
There's a dead zombie up that way. Yeah, it's a door that seems to be blocked by something. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, did I see a zombie? Yes, I did. Zombies are a lot more hostile, a lot more aggressive here on the second floor. There's not too many of them that look like they're not really interested in fighting. Not like it matters, because I would attack them anyway, but... Another locked door, always fun. Two zombies at the same time, always good. If I can keep them in the doorway, I can most certainly get them to attack each other by accident and then start fighting. But I can't keep them in the doorway, so that's not going to happen. Or is it? There we go, there we go, come on, fight each other. Okay, whatever. God damn it. I really need that security skill or whatever the hell it's called to hurry up and finish. Oh, I haven't even said it, that's why. That's great. Oh, shit. Look at this. Did I already put on a chain... I put on a chain vest under this, didn't I? But not a chain shirt. Yeah. And none of that's interesting. Oh shit, there's another one. And another one over there. See, now now hopefully you believe me about the seven zombies. You're probably thinking, oh, Odin's so full of fucking shit. Look at how many fucking zombies there are. Next. Oh, I thought he was dead and he wasn't. That's wonderful. There. Yes, run. I love it. Can't see a goddamn thing. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Looks like you're trapped. Now, this is when I actually kind of feel bad for him. He just wants to get away, but guess what? Too bad. You're dead. Uh, there we go. Oh, uh, shit. This is like the beginning of the level, isn't it? Yes, it is. We don't want to go that way. Yeah, look at all these damn zombies. Wait, did I... I don't even think I ended up going in here because there were two... Yeah. Alright. It would be insane for there to be loot or loot containers inside these cages. Here we have some sort of, like, tribunal, you know, some sort of courtroom. If you want to read the lore, you can pause that and read it. Back up a little here. Ah, uh, what do we have? Some stupid ass shoes and some other crap that we're already wearing under our armor anyway. Um, wait, was there? That was just that small room, that's right, okay. Oh look, another zombie. Alright. That was interesting. Alright. 
Now this was what, a locked door or something? Yeah. And maybe I missed a key because I'm going kind of quickly right now. But probably not. I don't know where the hell the key would be to that door. I'm on torch. Alright. And I don't want to start, I don't, I really don't want to start leaving equipment in the doorways so that I know where I've been, all that crap again. And I'm afraid that time might come sooner rather than later. Oh, shit, I didn't want to have to switch to my damn shield. Especially because I, well, let's just do it. Oh no, of course, no, we can't. He's bypassing my shield on every hit somehow. There we are. Is he not? No, he's not dead. Oh, come on. There we go. Obviously need to spend some time waiting for my health to regen. How the hell did we get in here? There's gotta be... Oh, that's... That's brilliant. That actually... That makes for a good conclusion for now. So yeah, thank you everyone for, uh, for joining me today. I appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time for some more Xanima.